what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your PC to improve your FPS and get better performance in Assassin's Creed Mirage. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end. Don't skip any part to ensure you get the best performance. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right. Step number one is the best window settings and for that open up settings on your PC and once you're here head down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of CPU and RAM resources in the background and disabling so will help you to gain much more performance than you get. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode disables various applications and notifications in the background, enabling helping you to gain a much better performance. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Head over to that and then click on change default graphic settings. Over here, enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to use your GPU to render the game as well as reduce the input latency. Head back to graphics and over here, click on the browse button and now add your game into this. I have already added Assassin's Creed Mirage.exe over here which you can find in the download location and once you've added that head over to options and then select high performance and then click on save. Once that is done close your settings. Step number two is the compatibility settings and for that open up steam or wherever you have downloaded this game. Right click on your game head over to manage and then click on browse local files. You'll find AC Mirage.exe right over here. Simply right click on that go to properties go to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations. Also click on change high DPI settings and then enable override high dpa scaling behavior then click on ok and click on apply next step is disabling background applications from local group policy editor and this is only available for windows pro users on windows 11 so if you do not have a windows pro edition you guys can skip this step simply search for a local group policy editor once you're over here in the computer configuration head down to administrative templates windows components app privacy and in here you'll find let windows apps run it in the background double click on that to open it up and enable this policy after that head over to default for applications and then select force deny to deny all of the applications running in the background once that is done, click on OK and apply this. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're over here, look for your local disk C, click on create and name it AC Mirage just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss in case of any emergency. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is AC Mirage FPS bag. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. And you guys can also join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial or a download link. Once you are over here, you'll find five simple folders. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority, in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority for your PC. This will help you to set the correct priority for your CPU, allowing you to perform better and optimize the throughput of your processor. Head back to the main folder and now go to RAM optimization, in which I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. Once again, I use 32 GB RAM, so I need to use this one. It can be different for you, so you can apply the one that is available for your PC. Once again, if you don't like the performance of this RAM optimization, you can reset it back to default using this registry right over here. Once that is done, go back to the main folder and then open up AC Mirage Priority, in which I have left above normal priority and high priority over here. Once again, I would want you guys to comment your PC specs down in the comments below, and I'll be telling you guys which priority to choose from over here. Once again, if any of these priority doesn't help you out, you can always set it back to normal priority from this folder. Next is disabling unwanted services from your PC. And over here, I have left a ton of registry files which will help you disable them. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth service or printer service, do not disable Bluetooth and printer services over here. But other than that, I would highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of them to ensure you get maximum performance as this will reduce the number of services running in the background, allowing your PC to perform much better using extra resources. Once again, if at any moment you want to revert all of these back to normal, you can use the revert registries folder to revert them back. Last is the programs folder in which I have left two simple files. First one is clean temporary files. Right click and run this as administrator. This will simply ask you to press any key to continue. Simply do that and it will remove all temporary files from your PC. And don't worry, this is completely safe. Next is MSI Modality 3.0. Simply right click and run this as administrator. And once you're over here, look for your graphic card. Then click on the MSI button in front of it. And after that, you have to set your interrupt priority to high. Once that is done, click on apply and this will set your correct SFIO priority for your graphic card and allowing it 
to perform way better in the game. Once it is done, close it and close your FPS pack. Next step is deanimating your windows. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. And once you're over here, click on custom and then select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All of them will help you to retain the basic look of your windows, but disable all unwanted and unnecessary animations, which may be causing FPS drops in the game. This will help you to improve your overall PC's performance and your FPS by a little bit. Next step is right under the advanced tab over here which is virtual memory click on that and over here deselect automatically manage pg file size then for the initial size set this thing to 1361 and for the maximum size you have to open up calculator and multiply your ram that is 32 gb for me with 1024 this will give you your memory in megabytes simply divide this new value by 2 and this value shall be pasted in the maximum size right over here and click on set and then click on ok virtual memory uses your rom as a virtual ram so if in any case your game demands more memory than you actually have installed on your pc you can use this virtual memory right away once it is done, click on OK. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications. And for that, press Ctrl Shift and Escape all together on your PC and then head over to Startup Apps. Over here, you'll find all of the applications installed on your PC and you have to figure out the ones that you do not use frequently. And if you find them, you have to right click and simply disable them. I highly recommend you guys to disable as many applications as you can because this will reduce the number of services and applications running in the background since the boot of your PC and this will help you to significantly reduce your booting time and also help you to preserve your system resources when you open up your game once that is done simply close it next step is dropping into the game for the best in game settings okay once you're in your game press your escape key and then head over to options over here go down to graphics and then for the graphic quality set this thing to custom world details should be set to low cluster detail low shadows low volumetric clouds medium water low screen space reflections off environmental and character texture should be set to medium depth of field motion blur and adoptive quality set this thing to off up sampling type should be set to nvidia dlss if you have an nvidia graphic card amd fsr2 if you have an amd graphic card and intel zest if you have an intel graphic card and for the up sampling quality i prefer you guys to go with performance or balance as both of them will help you gain extra fps then for the sharpening strength go with 60 percent and once that is done press spacebar to apply these settings once you're done with that go back to your game and enjoy the best fps possible right away so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have made sure to really like and smash the subscribe button we have also rolled out channel membership so if you guys are not a channel member yet consider getting the membership as it really helps me out we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out